Hey YouTube, this video is going to be all about keeping a dream journal and why it's a really good idea to do so. So dreams are basically our subconsciousness's way of dealing with everything we go through on a day-to-day -day basis and it can be a really good insight into our day and issues we might be dealing with. Uh, there is also a theory out there that you can actually implant a dream suggestion before going to bed. So you might want to try focusing on a certain issue before you go to sleep at night and hopefully your dreams will provide a little bit of insight into that issue. Now, obviously you're going to want to start recording these, and it was actually Aristotle that first theorised that the best way to find out the connection between your dream and your subconscious is to try and keep a yearly dream journal and record as many details as possible. There's heaps of experts out there, including, including Carl Jung and Ira Progoff, and they all say that you really need to write down as many dreams as possible because when it comes to interpretation, you're going to need a wide range of subjects because one dream just doesn't give you enough insight into what might be really going on. Now, keeping your dream journal does require some discipline, especially in the beginning. But once you get the hang of it, it can be an awesome insight into what's going on. And you'll find that you'll start to really enjoy interpreting your dreams. And you might start to find a lot of patterns that you didn't even realise were there. So I've got a few steps here to help you start making a dream journal and make the most of it. Now, obviously, there's no right or wrong way to do this. This is just a guideline to sort of get you started. So the first thing you're looking at, obviously, is finding a suitable journal. Now, as with everything nowadays, there's plenty of pre-made journals out there, and they're fine to use, but I actually prefer to make my own journal. There's a few reasons for that. First of all, it's really fun. But the main advantages, obviously, are, first of all, if you've spent a few hours making your own journal, you're going to be more motivated to write in it. I know I really am. And the other thing that you're looking at is if you make the journal, you can make the layout exactly the way you want it rather than being confined by what's there for sale. Now, there's a few things you want to keep in mind when it comes to keeping a dream journal. The first thing you want to think about is the length. Now, I find that a yearly dream journal is the best, but you can always make it shorter or longer depending on your own preference. The other thing you're going to look at is if you're wanting to be able to organise your dreams into themes and really make it easy to interpret them and find recurrent dreams, the best idea that I've found is to actually make your dream journal from a ring binder. That way you can arrange the pages as themes start to occur. The other thing you're going to want to do is make sure you leave room for extra jottings because you might go back through dreams at a later date and add in extra ideas and interpretations as your intuition increases and you find more patterns in the dreams. Another thing you want to think about is possibly writing about different themes in different colours just to make it stand out more and make it more obvious to you. Uh, so having a large array of different coloured pens handy is a really good idea as well. The other thing you want to do is make sure you keep your dream journal as close to your bed as possible because, let's face it, dream details fade really quickly and you're going to want to be able to write in your dream journal as soon as you wake up and get everything written down before they start to fade away. So the second thing you want to think about is the dream format. Now, it doesn't really matter what format you choose as long as you make sure to keep that format consistent throughout the journal and make sure that you date each entry. Now, what I found is easiest for me is I actually write the date before I go to bed each night and I also write down any particularly strong emotions that I'm feeling because obviously emotions can have a huge influence on your dreams and that can help towards interpretation as well. The other good thing about doing it that way is it becomes a sort of nightly ritual and it gets me in the frame of mind to remember my dreams so that I can write down all the details in the morning. So another thing you want to think about is make sure you arrange the journal appropriately for recording dreams. Now, again, there's no right or wrong way to do this, but you can make it easier on yourself by making it easier to see the link between the dreams and the interpretations. So the two main ways that I've come across is you can do the column method, which is basically where you just split your piece of paper into two columns, with the left-hand side being all the details about your dream and the right-hand side just being about the interpretations. Um, I'm not one for really squashing everything into columns. It ends up rather hard to read. So the way that I like to do it is I write the dream down first, leave a couple of lines gap, and then write the interpretation underneath. 
The other thing you want to make sure that you're doing is try and write your dreams in the present tense. It makes it a lot easier to bring the dream back to mind and you might find that it'll actually play through a lot clearer in your mind if you do write it in present tense. The fourth thing you want to be doing is make sure you write down every possible detail of the dream. Now, try to get into the habit of recording your dreams as soon as you wake up every morning, especially in the beginning, because dream details fade really quickly. And even doing something as simple as going to the toilet can actually cause you to lose a lot of those details. The other thing you want to remember is that it's going to take practice. So don't stress if in the beginning you can't remember much and you only seem to be able to jot down one or two lines about each dream. It will get better with practice. You want to make sure you write down every detail possible, even if it doesn't seem important at the time. The things you want to be looking at are location, colours, sounds, emotions especially, um, actions, interactions, and the characters that seem to appear in the dream. And you can also include sketches of different things in the dream. I like to include sketches if there's certain symbols in my dream that I don't immediately recognise because it means I can go back later and do a bit of research in that particular symbol. So step five is to just remember that grammar, spelling and punctuation really aren't important. As long as you can read it back later to yourself, that's all that matters. It's a lot more important to get all the details down and make sure that you have enough to interpret than to worry about being grammatically correct. The other thing is that the more you start writing, the more is going to come to mind about the dream. And because it can be really hard to write fast enough to keep up with your mind, I actually like to use the voice recorder app on my iPhone and I record everything first and then listen back through it and write it down in my dream journal just to make sure I don't miss anything. So the sixth thing that you want to look at is make sure that you put a title on all your dreams. It can make it a lot easier to organise the themes throughout your journal um, and it can be a lot easier to find the dream at a later date. Um, basically what you're looking at when you do write a title, make sure that you try and really capture the theme and the emotions of the dream as best as possible so that it's accurate when you're organising it into themes. So the seventh thing is the thing you've heard me talking about a lot, which is organising it into themes. Now, you don't have to do this. Uh, the only reason I suggest it is obviously if it's organised into themes, you can instantly start seeing recurring dreams and patterns, which will help you look into any areas of your life that might need a little bit more attention. And the other thing you want to be doing is going through and highlighting any important words or symbols or themes, just so that they are more eye-popping and draw you to it. Alright, so the eighth step is what seems to stump people a little bit and that's basically to begin interpreting the dreams. Now, in the beginning, I suggest just getting used to recording your dreams every day. Don't worry about interpreting them yet. The dreams will be there later and you can always come back and interpret them at a later date once you're more comfortable. But once you've got the routine down pat and you're remembering details about the dreams and writing them in every morning, that's when you really want to start interpreting them. Now, obviously, there's heaps of information there about dream interpretation, but the thing you want to be doing is relying on your intuition as much as possible. Now, in the beginning, that may not be something that you can do. Intuition is something that you really need to work on, and you also need to build up your confidence a lot. Now, the more you do it, the more you'll find you'll rely on your intuition, and it may get to the point where you don't need to use outside sources at all. Now, obviously, some dreams are going to be easier to interpret than others, um, the key is to just give it a go with all the dreams. If you can't think of anything, come back to it. Some dreams might not become apparent in meaning until you realise that they're a recurring dream and then you might find that there's a part in your life that does need more attention. So the last thing you want to think about is personalising your journal. Make it your own. Do what works for you. Like I said at the start of the video, this is just some guidelines to help you get started. You might find that after a few months, this doesn't work for you and you need to change it around. So this formula is something that I've worked on for a few months now and it's something I've become comfortable with, but it did take some work in the beginning. The main thing that you need to think about is just don't get stressed. It will happen eventually. And yes, it does take time, but it's well worth it. As long as you're recording dreams every day, you'll find that you'll be interpreting your subconscious in no time and it's going to get easier as you go along. And eventually it'll end up being a really enjoyable and educational experience. So that's it for this video. Hope I've inspired you to start your own dream journal and uh, let me know how it goes. Blessed be.